We're inside Windows Systems Image Manager with our image loaded and our catalog file created. Hit Control N to create a new answer file. In the Windows Image section, under your image, expand components. We will have to identify each component that needs value set to build our answer file. Microsoft has broken the install process into sections called passes. We will have to add each component to the appropriate pass. Each component name will be preceded by the architecture. So for example, all mine start with AMD 64. First, let's add Microsoft Windows International Core WinPE to pass one. This component allows us to specify the language and locality settings to use during setup. To do so, just right click on the component and select pass one. Next, add Microsoft Windows Setup to pass one. And then expand Windows Setup and add Disk Configuration also to Pass 1. This will allow us to set installation and disk settings. Next, add Microsoft Windows Shell Setup to Pass 4. This has our time zone and other shell settings. Add Microsoft Windows International Core to Pass 7. This will let us set the language and locality for our installed operating system. Under Microsoft Windows Shell Setup, Select User Accounts, then add Administrative Password to Pass 7. And finally, also under Microsoft Windows Shell Setup, add OOBE to Pass 7. This will allow us to customize the final settings the setup normally asks for at the end of the install. Now we can move our focus to the center window, labeled Answer File, to adjust our settings. In Pass 1, select Windows International Core WinPE, then select Setup UI Language, and set your UI language to your country code. If you don't know your language code, see the Microsoft Doc. This document lists all the available language packs. Under Microsoft Windows Setup Disk Configuration, set the Will Show UI option. You can set it to Always, Never, or On Air. I set mine to Always because I like to review my disk configuration before I start a deployment. Now, we could add the disk component and start adding our partition layout, but I'll show you a trick after we generate the XML file to speed things up. Moving on, under Microsoft Windows Setup, select User Data. Set Accept EULA to True and the name of your organization. Expand User Data and select Product Key. I'm using the KMS Client Key. If you're using KMS Activation, find the key for your OS version by Googling KMS Client Key. Now on to Pass 4 under Microsoft Windows Shell Setup, and then Time Zone. If you're not sure what Microsoft calls your time zone, you can run the tzutil command to see a list. Under Microsoft Windows International Core, set your input locale, your system locale, and your user locale. Under Microsoft Shell Setup, select OOBE, then set your Hide EULA page, Hide OEM Registration Screen, Hide Online Account Screens, and Hide Wireless Setup in OOBE to True. Finally, set a value for Protect Your PC. One will use Express Settings, and three will turn it off. Also in Windows Shell Setup, under User Accounts, select Administrator Password and set your password. Click Save to save your unattend file and open it with a text editor. You can now see exactly what your XML looks like, and isn't it beautiful? But we still haven't set our disk settings. Luckily, Microsoft has some great example XML for our partition layouts for BIOS and UEFI. Even if you have specific partition requirements, these are a great place to start. On their page, scroll down to the example XML and select Copy. Then back in your text editor, you can replace the entire disk configuration section. Save the file in your text editor, then go back to WSIM and reopen the file. We can then validate our file using this tool by clicking the Validate button. And we can see in the Validation tab that we have a few errors. So let's go ahead and delete the things we don't need. I deleted Order and Partition ID. And when I validate again, I have no warnings. 
If you have any final settings you want to apply, now's the time to do it. You have now created an unattended file, and I'm sure your installs will be faster and more consistent and less painful. Thanks for watching.